We just got the drop list and retails for Supreme's week three items, and I cannot wait to see how hardcore and how street these accessories are gonna be. <laughs> oh, look at that, that's nail polish. Oh, that's really, um, a uh, gangster. <laughs> mm. I feel like I'm chosen. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we do have the drop list and retails for Supreme's Week 3 drop. Well, frickin' God! This week is featuring a collaboration with Nike, ACG, and Supreme, and then you boys better be getting those nails cleaned off because we got some Pat McGrath Special Edition Nail Polish just for you. For too long, girls here have taken the back seat. I know, right? And I thought this was a men's brand. So this week, all the ladies out there have something to buy on Supreme. So, you know, there's that. But before we dig into that drop list, I wanted to show you guys what our friends at shoepop.ru sent us to give away to one of you lucky subscribers. That's right, they sent me a replica Jordan 4 Black Cat size 10 for me to give away. Definitely make sure you check out the shoepop.ru website. It's the only place that you can currently buy the Jordan 4 Amamier, although they are replicas because they still look pretty fancy. So thank you again to shoepop.ru. I have a video coming out about these shoes in particular, and I will be giving these away on a live stream in the future. So make sure that you have your notifications on so you don't miss out. And if you buy anything on their site, make sure you use code FONT, because that'll save you 10 bucks. More money! Ah. All right, I'm jumping right into the drop list, going from the bottom of Supreme Community to the top. First off, we have this creases short sleeve top. I actually kind of dig the yellow one. It's just an overall print with leaves. I, I don't think there's any resell in these, but actually these look kind of cool to me. I probably could have got behind this shirt at $68, but not really at $88. I mean, it's a complete personal anyways, and obviously not many people are feeling this one. Sad. <laughs> Next up, I really do like this Sponsors 6 panel. I, I think this is something to go after this week. I'm also kind of looking at this for a personal, to be fair, but the black one, the red one, they may have some value down the road. This hat really doesn't have a ton of big giant branding on it, but it has a bunch of little brands on it, and, and some of them are really cool. Like, this one here kind of looks like a Harley Davidson logo, and then I definitely like that 89.1 Fuck You radio station. So if I do decide to grab some stuff this week, um, I, I will probably try to throw that into a cart. Okay! Uh, next up, we have this gradient striped sweater. I really feel like this might be the item for both sides of the gender debate. You have the black and white one for it for the people that are just like male female and that's it And then you have that rainbow colored one for people that are like I don't know your gender. I don't know Candace's I don't know mine. You don't know my gender. I don't so make your choice and take it down But in reality, I think this is a terrible piece and you should probably skip it Stop. Please. Next up, this heavy flannel shirt I think is really, really cool. The original price we had on this was 138 and I thought that was probably going to be a little bit low, and this going for 158 kind of hurts me a little bit. I really like that gray and olive colorway the best. The blue-purple one is alright as well. These could be sleepers in really big sizes. Again, definitely going to be a hold type of a week. I think most every item for most all the weeks are going to be kind of hold items. But these flannels tend to age pretty well, and they just don't make that many of these. So there's only going to be one or two flannel options that are any good throughout this whole season. I kind of think that the price point, though, maybe limits the amount that this thing can sell for over time, and maybe makes it not much more than a personal as well. I like it a lot. The chino pants are coming out. They have the pinup model on the back. These are pretty popular. I don't know if they really flip for a ton, but they do sell out pretty quickly. So if you do want these chino pants in like the black or brown colorway, probably those olive ones as well, um, they're going to sell pretty quickly. So make sure that you jump on those chino pants right away if there's something that you want. And again, the really big sizes could do okay over time as well. Here's another item I really like. I think this drop is actually pretty good. I, I just don't see a lot of resell in it. How about new? 
this cut out long sleeve top I had a notion that this was gonna be a little more expensive than I like at $98 I, I just don't love a long sleeve shirt at $98 but the spell out on the side is cut out pieces that were stitched on so um, it's more than just a print on there so again that's probably why it was $98 I hope that we can maybe see this one in the sale because this would be something that I would really like to pick up if it makes it that far you cheap sack of shit next up this is 100% my favorite item of the week this fire zip up hooded sweatshirt hey, hey, hey. what can I say it's a van on fire on fire and it is fire <laughs> 188 is a decent price point for this piece. I also think that very big sizes could do well in the future. Do I think this will resell down the road? I think that getting an XXL in this probably will give you some profit down the road. It just doesn't have a big, huge piece of branding on it, so I, I can't get too behind it for reselling, although this is a super cool piece. I would imagine it's gonna sell out fairly quickly, at least in the big sizes. And I really do think like 250 plus is a good range for this thing. So there could be some room here to make a little bit of money. And again, this girl is on fire. Next up is the first of the Supreme ACG things. And this is a cyclist jersey. Yay. <laughs> Supreme, listen to me, please stop with the cycling crap. Nobody cares. Nobody here cares about cycling. If you were gonna go for this, the black colorway isn't too bad, but again, it is a cycling jersey. So just step away, and move along. Come on, man. Uh, next up is this AGC belted denim pant. This thing with a price point at 198 is taxing like an MFR. I don't even wanna talk about it anymore. Um, it's strange that it's denim and it's a cinch pant. These are in the same price point as TNF pants. So let's, let's just let that sink in for a second. Maybe the really big sizes of the black colorway if you were going to target these, but I, I wouldn't target these. Uh, next up, we have this underlined hooded sweatshirt. Um, I really do like the logo, although this is a really teeny tiny little logo. It's like this big and you won't be able to see it. You're just like, who is that? What does it say? What does it say? Oh, oh, that's really cute. They're so cute. All right, here we go. We have some Nike AGC hats. Uh, that's right, that snakeskin is something special. I really don't know if I want to buy that snakeskin hat just so I make sure no one else has it. I got it. I love it. Or if I like it, and it'll go with my blazers that are coming in. If they allow you to get two colorways of this hat, I would be going for the black and the denim. Uh, if you wanted to make some funny TikTok videos, yeah, go ahead and grab that snakeskin as well. I do think these are unique because of the little strap that we see in the back of these. I haven't really noticed that particular strap on the back of a hat before, so I think the black and denim could be kind of desirable. And probably these are the first two things on the list so far that I would say yes, buy this, most definitely. For sure. <laughs> Next up we have the Supreme Nike ACG shorts. These are nylon shorts, $138 for these shorts. Seems a little excessive. You can say that again. Next up, the Supreme Nike ACG t-shirt. I, I don't know what it is on this t-shirt. I still don't. I've been examining it for over a day now. Someone told me it was from an old ad. Someone told me it's Central Park. It, it looks like a giant Lego, and then it looks like there's some corn, and maybe there's a city on the other side. Uh, $48, not too horrible. If you want to gamble on this shirt, go XXL in black, or just buy it for personal. I don't really see this shirt being very desirable regardless. Post. I don't like it. All right, here we go. My second item that I like this week, the military camp cap. And this hat actually is a go in almost every colorway. I'd say stay away from that yellow one, but, but all the other colors look great. I really like that little yellow hit on the side. I really hope that the black hat has that yellow hit on the side and not a white hit. Either way, still gonna be fine. That camo one with the red box logo could be a sleeper as well. I would say probably if it was me, I would go for black and camo and see if I could get that, or black and brown, as long as they allow you to get two styles. These hats usually end up in the $100 plus range, at least the black ones. So 100%, definitely make sure you put one of those in your cart no matter what. Yep. 
All right, here we go, the Supreme Nike ACG Denim Pullover. We have two problems with this right away in the name of the denim part and the pullover part. I suppose you think that was terribly clever. The black version of this one looked pretty good on body on some of those images that we've seen from the Supreme site. However, this retail is beyond ridiculous. A $300 price point for a Nike denim pullover is ridiculous. If you have to buy this, buy XXL in black or it's 100% going to be a personal for you. And it probably still will be. What an asshole! Next up, we have the Nike ACG Pullover Fleece. Nothing says awesome like a fleece with a snakeskin pattern on it. And we've got two of them. One of the strange things about this fleece to me is I don't think that the top comes off. I've not seen a picture where the hood wasn't just already there and people poking through the eye holes. I'm the only one that's allowed to have eye holes. So at the end of the day, if the hood is not removable, I, I can't get behind these at all. Number two reason I can't get behind these is the price point. Usually the Nike Supreme items have a lower price point than the normal Supreme items. Now this fleece pullover being a $238 price point just kind of puts it way out of bounds. Maybe if you can pick up the black in a really, really big size like XXL, XL, but I was looking at these to resell for around 250, maybe three. And with a retail of 238, it's 250 before it even gets home to you. So I just see this thing being a really long hold. But again, like anything else, go XXL Black if you're just a psycho and you have to spend money. But you are the crazy. And your number one item from this menswear brand for this week is nail polish. That's right, boys. Be proud of this fact that you upvoted nail polish. A $100 trifecta of awesome nail polish. That's right. You can get red, you can get white, and you can get black. All for the low, low price of $100. Are you insane? Who the hell is going to buy... The lipstick last year blew my mind that it was selling for so much. Like, it got to a point where it was selling for $150. But all of a sudden, that thing tanked. It went down so far. It must have been the orders came in or something. But at this moment, that's down to $54 on StockX. So I would kind of say, if you have the ability to buy this and sell it instantly, you may be able to make a little bit of profit. If you can sell this locally, you'll definitely be able to make a little bit of profit. I don't see people paying more than like $150 for these. Maybe $200? I mean, you might be able to double it if you sell really quickly. I, I just don't see myself trying to go for nail polish on Thursday, so um, yeah. For me, it's going to be a pass here as well. I'll take it. There you go, guys. Kind of a disappointing week and mostly disappointing because of the retail prices. I really can only get behind the hats as far as reselling is concerned. That hat makes you look like a girl. Am I a pretty girl? Maybe that fire zip-up sweatshirt has some potential down the road. And again, potentially the Nike fleece in XXL could make you some money. But I think these are all going to be long holds. <laughs> and really, this kind of seems like a week where I may recommend that you just kind of take a nap. Let me know down below what you guys like this week if you're going after anything. And make sure to join me on the live stream on Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Pacific time where we can go over all my final thoughts on week three and the drop list and the retails all that kind of stuff okay it's a note thank you guys for watching and if for any reason at all you need some more font Leroy in your life today then you should check out these videos right here